I love the bookmarks feature in the Gospel Library app. I use it daily to track where I'm at in my studies as well as my family. Bookmarks make it so easy to remember where you're studying. Before I jump into bookmarks, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to hit the like button below. To show you how to create a bookmark, first let's go to a spot in the scriptures. I'm going to go straight to Jerem chapter 1. And I've been reading in Jerem chapter 1, and I'm done with my reading for the day, but I don't want to lose my place. I made it to Jerem chapter 1 verse 5. What I'm going to do is come down here and click the bookmark icon, and I'm going to press the plus button. And that just created a new bookmark. You can see up here in the top left corner, the picture of the bookmark. So if I maneuver away from here, say I go to the home screen, I can always come back down here and click on the bookmark. And you can see there's my Jerem chapter one, verse five, and I can click on it and it'll take me right to my bookmark. Okay, so I started reading again and I read some more and say I made it to Mosiah chapter one, verse five. I can come down here and click on my bookmark icon again and I want to update. I don't want to make another bookmark because I've already, this is my continued reading, right? I'm still reading in the Book of Mormon. I just made it further. Instead, I want to click on this circular arrow over here on the right to refresh my bookmark. And that will save that now I'm in Mosiah chapter 1 verse 5. So I can come look at bookmarks down here and see there it updated my bookmark to Mosiah chapter 1 verse 5. And I could keep doing that. As I read more, I can come down here and go to Mosiah chapter 2 verse 4 click the bookmark, click refresh, and then you can see here it's been updated to Mosiah chapter 2 verse 4. So within the bookmarks, there's a few cool features you can do. If you want to delete, you can slide over to delete a bookmark. If you come up here and click edit, you can click on the name of the bookmark and you can rename it. So say I want to call this my Book of Mormon study bookmark. I can rename it to that and click save. And now you can see it says Book of Mormon study and points me to Mosiah chapter 2 verse 4. I can also click and drag my bookmarks around and I can delete bookmarks by clicking the circle on the left. When I'm done with making my changes, I can click done up here and now my bookmarks are renamed or reorganized however I wanted. So pretty simple and pretty powerful at the same time. You can see within here that I have multiple different bookmarks. I have one for my personal study, family study, one where I'm focusing on the love of God in the Book of Mormon, the one that we just created, Book of Mormon Study. I have an audio one where I'm listening to the Book of Mormon and some other ones as well. You can create a whole lot of bookmarks to keep track of where you're studying in your gospel studies. Okay, so start using bookmarks and stop forgetting where you're at in your studies. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future videos.